Ah, someone literally just called me right in the middle of my live. I absolutely hate it when that happens. So I'm going to go back down through. I'm going to invite everybody again, just so you can see um, that I'm on live again. I'm going to go ahead and upload this to YouTube if Facebook lets me finish this. Or God forbid, nobody calls me throughout this time. Let's pray, guys. Okay, so I want to go over this really, really fast because I feel like it's super, super important, okay? This video, once again, I'll say it might be a little red, okay? So if you are not a red and you don't, you know, you wear, maybe you wear your emotions on your sleeves, this is either going to get you really, really excited or it's going to offend you. And either way, it's your mindset. It's you, 100% you. So you have to make sure that you you work on fixing that. You have to make sure that you work on growing and personal development and stuff like that, okay? So um, here's the first thing I wanna say. When you are in a month end and that 25, the 25th hits, okay? And that's what I consider month end personally. Some people have different views of it. The last 15 days of the month, the last five days of the month, whatever. Um, but you should be working your hardest every single day throughout the entire month. Time management is a big key. So if you feel like you are working nonstop, you're doing something wrong. And it's because with this business, you can get all of your checklists done throughout the day within like three hours, literally. Um, even responding to your messages and stuff like that. If you want to go all in and you want to hit promotions and you want to build your business for the beginning of the new year, when these bonuses come out, guys, you got to get a grip. You got to get a grip on what is going on. You have to learn the in, ins and outs of this business and how to make it happen around your busy schedule. We're all busy. We all have 24 hours in a day. And so month end gets even crazier. You're going to have emotions that are going to be crazy. I cannot remember a month end where we were going for a big promotion or we were going for a big, 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 big goal for our dream. And I did not cry, get excited, laugh, scream all in one day, every single day. I cannot remember a time where we were promoting, where we were not going through something like that, where I was not feeling all of the emotions. So for you to say that you are the only one who feels these emotions and you back out because of it, you are wrong, sister. You have to pick up where you are, no matter the feelings that you have, stop letting your emotions run your life and start getting your head in the game and get focused on what you truly want. So what I like to do at month end is I rechart myself. I like to go and you can go right to your e-suite. When you log into your e-suite, click on reports at the top, okay? The next thing you do, you click on tree viewer or you can go to additional reports. My favorite way is to go to additional reports. When I click on that, on the left-hand side, in the third section, in the left-hand side, there's one section that says, um, hold on, let me grab this and see if I can find it really quick. Actually, it's called volume total by distributors, guys. If you go to this on the 25th, it will load 100% all the group volumes of every single person on your downline. So I take that time and I take maybe like 15 to 20 minutes and I update my entire chart. I update all of our numbers in the afternoon because it does not load until the afternoon or late that evening. So I'll take the night. Once my kids go to bed, I will update all my numbers and then I do this. <clears throat> I calculate how much volume I need to meet my personal goal. And then I write it in my kitchen on my whiteboard, okay? So you'll see this. This is my number for this month. I am counting down. I know that I need 86 small, small, small orders to make it happen. And I know that this is the amount of volume that I need to bring on my charts by the end of the month. So I have this written down. It's literally in my kitchen with everything else right underneath my dream board. I put this in front of my face because I want to get excited about it. I want to know that this is where I'm headed. And no matter what is going on in my life, if it does not contribute to me hitting this goal at month end, I don't do it. I refrain from doing it. If it does meet my goal, like my income producing activities, getting in your messenger, doing the things, then I do it. Okay. So 
I get serious about my number. I write it down in my house. I don't care whether you have to put sticky notes all over your house. I don't care if you have to write that number on the bathroom mirror. I don't care whether you have to write it down physically in your journal every single day. I don't care if you have to hold your chart out. I don't care if you have to put it, you know, in your vehicle on your dash so you can see it every single day so you know where you're headed. But you need to know your number and you need to know exactly how many orders you need to me to make that happen because if you don't it's kind of like you're getting in a vehicle and you're saying i'm going on a road trip and then you have no map whatsoever you have no destination you don't know how many miles you're going to drive that car you just know that you're going on a road trip that's it so why why would you even bother getting up and putting gas in and turning the car on if you don't know where the heck you are going? So you have to put that in front of your face. Our minds are really, really tricky. When you're a human being, your mind is seriously, seriously tricky. And so it's super important to write that down for yourself because it is like 10 times more likely to happen for you. So the second thing that I do is I get serious about my list. I get extremely serious and I'm serious about, serious about this every single day. I don't go to bed until I complete these guys. This is the list that's in our team page. This is what I do every single day. So if you want to follow my footsteps and you want to make the money that we've made, you have to get serious about this list. You have to start doing it every single day to grow your business. And there's extra things that I throw in there all the time, especially income producing activities. Some days I don't just do four pages of follow-up. Some days I do like 10 or 20 or 30. I will do as much as I possibly can. And especially at month end, I hit grind time. I will go down through and I will, I will do so many follow-ups. I didn't believe that I could do that many follow-ups, seriously. So I get serious about this list. This list gets done every single day. But I pull it out, I write it down, and I, or I write it down and I check off every single thing that's on this list. Mine's personally on another whiteboard in my house that I put mine on every single day. And I make sure that I make it happen. I watched a video earlier with Jackie Deering. She has a notebook and this might be an idea for you. Maybe this would work for you, okay? You take a notebook and you label every single day and it doesn't have to be a big notebook. It can literally be like this big. You label every single day and you write this entire list down. If you've got, um, you know, four messaging sprees, you're going to put messaging sprees with four boxes and you're going to check off every single box when you're done. Okay. If you know for a fact you need 10 hosts to post out or say you're at month end and you're like grind time and you need 20 hosts to post out or unlimited amounts of hosts to post, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to get 20 out every single day. You're going to have 20 different boxes for host to post and you're going to check them off one by one as you go. But if you're not writing it down, you're not moving forward. This is something that I had to drill into my head. I need to write it down. If it's not written down, it is not a goal. It is just a dream that will never happen. And this is so urgent that you do this. This is so important that you write things down. Um, so what I do is I make my round of follow-ups. I get serious about my list. My list has to be completed no matter what happens throughout my day. I don't care what's going on. Like my mom literally went in for surgery yesterday and I still got my freaking list done guys. This is how serious and how simple this list can be. Now I like to start early in the morning and this is just a huge tip. Start your list early in the morning before your kids wake up, before you take them to school, before you start remote learning or homeschooling or whatever you're doing, before you go to your job, start your list in the morning because that allows you to get a lot done before life hits you. Okay, because life can hit you throughout the day, right? You can get a phone call anytime and your whole world can get spun upside down. But guess what? You'll have your list almost done bright and early in the morning because you got it done and you chose to wake up and make it a priority bright and early. So I get mine done. I get, wake up early in the morning at five o'clock and I start my list. I start it right off the bat. So I do my list and then I make my round of follow-ups, okay? Now what I do is anyone... I have reached out to this month, okay? Like in the month of October, okay? Because it's October when I made this video. In the month of October, I will make my rounds again. 
So even if I messaged them and I talked to them and they said they, they didn't have the money for it, they said they couldn't do it, they ignored me, they said that they were going to do it, but then they ghosted me. I don't care if I just asked them about it and they said that they may possibly, maybe be interested. I don't care. If I spoke to them, I'm going to make my rounds back around and I'm going to follow up again. And how I'm going to do this is by creating urgency, by saying, hey, I have one last spot for this for this month. Are you in? Or I will say... Um, hey, I, I just was able to get one last spot open. Are you ready to get started? Or I will say, I will always narrow it down to one last spot. I've got one last spot. I've got one last spot, one last position. I'm opening one last spot for this. I thought of you. Do you want this? Okay. When you do that, you don't realize that they might not have had the money at the beginning of the month when you first talked to them. But now all of a sudden they've started their new job, they got their first paycheck and boom, you're in their messenger. So they don't forget about you. So I make my rounds at the end of the month and I talk with them. And then if they lead me on to believe that they're interested, I schedule them for the following Friday and I follow up with them again. Um, and that time I'll say, hey, I just opened up a couple of more um, spots for this. I'm so excited for this month. Do you want in? Okay. Um, if they, if you write them and they ignore you, it's okay. It's okay because you're just going to keep weaning them into your messaging sprees. They're going to get a message from you every single time you hit their name on your messaging sprees on your friends list. Okay. So it's okay. Now, the next thing that I do after, with follow-ups, okay, is um, sometimes in this business, we have to say no so that we can say yes for so much more in our future, okay? And I'm just going to give you some examples of what I would say no to, and I'm reading this off, okay? Because I wrote this down for myself because it was just so important to me. Um, so, like, for example, friends ask me if I want to go and hang out. It's month end. I've got huge goals. Does that benefit me to hitting that number I just showed you? Going and wasting my time, spending time with people who are not doing anything, who are not going for the big goals. My dream was given to me. It was not given to my friends that I'm going to hang out with. And so it's super important to recognize that when you're doing it. Your friends can wait until you get your shit together. Like my friends can wait until I get my shit together. And let me tell you guys, if my friends can't handle that, if they can't deal with the fact that I'm growing myself as a person, I'm changing myself as a person, I don't want them as a friend. I don't want people in my life who are not supportive and who are not encouraging me to change my life and can't wait on hold so that I can change my life. Like how selfish would that be if I was friends with someone who was like, nope, Nope. You're you're changing your life. You're meeting your goals. You got to put me off so that you can go and work your business, which is your job. You put me off. I can't be friends with you anymore. Okay. See you later. Bye. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. That's how I would think about it. Okay. And the same goes for family too. I do the same exact thing to my family. I would, I would say like my mom, she used to call me all the time and I had to distance myself from her. No, I was not rude to her. No, I was not mean to her. I explained to her the goal that we were going through or that we were, we were going for. And I said, mom, I gotta, I gotta just stop talking on the phone for three hours every single morning because that time could be used for getting my shit together and making sure that I meet this goal. So I hope that you understand. I love you so much. And sometimes, you know, some people understand, sometimes they don't. And if they don't, it's okay. It's not your loss. It's theirs. And it's their problem. If they can't accept that, that's their mindset, not yours. Um, same with, um, I can go without my favorite show for a while so I can get financially fit. Okay. If I'm at a, at a goal, okay. If I am a in a promotion month or I'm going for a promotion, which we all are because promotions are going to hit at the beginning of this next year. We're going to all be going for bonuses like crazy. Okay. When we go for bonuses like crazy, we need to start right now. We're putting in the work right now in this season for the beginning of the year. And if you're watching it for the beginning of the year, girlfriend, it is promotion season. It is like spreading like wildfire. And if you don't get out there and get it, someone else is going to. So you get to step up and say, okay, I'm going to make this happen. I've got this show that I really like, but I'm going to use it as a reward for myself. When I meet this goal, when I make things happen, that is when I will watch my show. That is when I will, I don't know, pay the extra to make sure that I can watch it again on repeat, right? I don't know what you're going to do, but listen, guys, 
imagine a $10,000 bonus. Are you willing to say no to watching your favorite show or willing to say no to your buddy who wants to just have a few drinks with you and hang out with you and waste your time so that you can earn a $10,000 bonus, right? Like I'm gonna drop the IDS below so you can see this, but let's just think about this. Let's be real. Let's, let's act on our logic and facts and not act on our emotions. Same with Bailey, okay? Like my daughter's name is Bailey. Um, and she will live without playing dolls for a little while so that I can play with dolls with her forever and ever and never have to worry about my time ever again, right? Your kids are going to live if you have to send them to go color by themselves for a little while. Your kids are going to live if you can't go to, you know, the theme park this weekend. Your kids are going to live if they can't go and do their fun things for a little while so that you can get your crap together so that you can make things happen so they can do those things times a million every single day. They are going to live. Your spouse is going to live without that extra little oomph in your relationship, right? And taking three hours at night just to watch TV and do nothing together. Your spouse is going to live because you're going to make that, that bonus and they're going to be like, wow, I'm glad that you did that. I'm glad that you said no. Okay. Think about what you're focusing on. Think about your time management. This is so ridiculously important. Um, things to do. Okay. Let me, let me just say this first. Okay. So what I do for, for dinner, a lot of the times I will, um, I will meal prep the week before. So like right now I have meal prep, like meals prepped for lunches every single day for breakfast every single day so that I don't have to think about what I can feed Bo for the day. And I don't have to think about what I'm going to feed him for breakfast or what I'm going to eat for breakfast or what Matt's going to eat for breakfast or lunch. Dinner, sometimes I have to ask Matt if he will cook. I know that that's crazy in some households, right? Because the man doesn't cook, right? But maybe if he's not a cooker and he maybe he sucks at cooking, you need to think a little bit more smarter, meaning you have to pick easier meals. Maybe you have to meal prep some of your meals before you get started so that you can plan to have a quick, quick meal and then have quick, a quicker dinner. Um, maybe you have to like I said, you maybe you meal prep the week before. Maybe you order that thing offline that you can get that I know a few leaders get where they their meal comes delivered to them. Maybe you have to eat out a couple of times in the month. I don't know what exactly you need to do, but you need to be solution-minded. So ha you have to look for that solution. What's going to make you or what's going to give you more time to work your business so that you can meet that goal and earn that bonus? Think about it. Think about how, what that bonus is going to do for you. Really think about it. Um, and so things that, that happen, anxiety will pop up in your head. That is hands down 100% what it is. Anxiety will pop it up in your head. And if you have ever felt anxiety to the point where you're like, if I don't get this done right now, I'm going to forget about it. And then all hell's going to break loose. Drop a one below. Have you ever felt that before? Because this is what I do. Okay. In situations like this, I have a whiteboard. Literally on my refrigerator, I have a whiteboard. And anything that I can think of throughout the day where I'm like, okay, I feel like I gotta get this done, but I can't do it right now, but I need to do it right now because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget about it if I don't, right? I will write it down, which I could literally cross this off right here, okay? So I will write this down. I will write everything that's on my mind on my whiteboard in my kitchen. Guys, I got this at the freaking Dollar Tree. One dollar and I put it right on my fridge. And if I think of something where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get this done. I'm like heavy breathing. I need to make it happen, right? If you live with anxiety, you know exactly how I'm thinking. You know exactly what, what that feels like to feel like you have to finish something, you have to do something, and you gotta do it now before th like crap hits the fan and all hell breaks loose and you forget all about it, right? No. Say no to your anxiety. Say no to all of your emotions that are going on because you are in control. So this is how you take your control back, guys. You put a whiteboard on your kitchen or you open up a notepad in your phone or you grab, bring around a little notebook that you can write things down with you. I don't care what you have to do. But in those moments where you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I got to get these things done. Say no to 
letting your anxiety control you and instead write it down and later on when you're completely finished your list and getting all your goals met that's when you're going to go down through that list and you're going to go and make sure that you get it done okay so really think about this or when you have spare time or when maybe you you can't have your phone on but you can do other things like for example those two things i crossed off this morning i literally did it while i was eating lunch okay i can't send voice messages while i'm eating lunch so that's what i did instead i multitask so i could get those things done um here's the thing guys okay when it comes down to it there has never been a month where i have not felt like i was missing out a month in you ever feel like you're missing out because you're working your business that you're like missing out on going and having fun times or your kid just wants to go to the fair or your kid just wants to go out to eat or your kid just wants to go do this or your husband wants to go do that and you feel like you're missing out or you feel that mom guilt or you feel that doubt or you feel that fear of well if I'm not right there for them then they won't want me anymore. And this will all be for nothing, right? Drop a two below if you've ever felt that way, because that is just not true. It is things that we are making up inside of our head so that we can avoid the work, so that we can avoid what's going on. So you think that if, if you take time away from your man so that you can make this happen, or you take time away from your kids so you can make this happen, or you say no to your friends so you can make this happen, or you say no to, your, to going out to the movies so you can make this happen, if you're saying no, you feel like, like you're feeling guilty. You're feeling like you're missing out on something. And the truth is you are not. You are not. They will wait. Everything will pause. Everything will wait for you to better yourself. And you got to think about this. I would much rather give my kids a well put together side of me that is not worrying about money and stressing ab about financials and stressing about not being good enough and not doing the job the way that I need to do it rather than giving them a, a broken version of me that is stressing out and just like watch, like watching my business go down the drain because I'm choosing to say yes right now and sit here and watch Moana for three hours and have no idea why, you know, where my business is going or whether it's even going to happen or not, right? It's always going to be on your mind. Your dream's always going to be on your mind. And it's just like the dream giver where there's going to be certain little, little things that happen. There's going to be big giants that happen where you're going to have to stomp them out. You're going to have to realize that you're going to have to put things aside so that you can make things happen. So you can have more of those things in the future. You want more time with your spouse, work your business to the point where you can bring him home. You want more time with your kids? Work your business to the point where you can be completely um, debt-free and not have to worry about financials and you can take them to go do whatever you want, right? Really think about this. You want to be able to, to leave your job, but like like work your business until you until you can leave your job 100%. So here's what I do, okay? I To stay focused throughout the month. I write my why down. Okay, just to stay motivated, to stay pumped up, I write my why down. I do this every single day. I write down what I'm fighting for. I write it all over my house. I write it in my journal. I speak it out loud. I say it all the time. I, I write it on a piece of paper just randomly throughout the day. If I'm ever feeling like I cannot commit myself to doing my, my job and doing my work and putting the work in, I write it down for myself so I can see how would it feel if I threw this out the window and and went and did whatever I wanted to do instead. How would it feel if I said no to getting my host post out today because I had better things to do? How would it feel if I didn't meet this goal because I didn't do my follow-ups because I was too busy, you know, watching a, a movie with my kids and not really paying attention to my business at all and avoiding it all, at all costs? How would that feel? Because if that makes you upset and that, that frustrates you and that scares you, girlfriend, you got to get a grip. We got to get a grip, guys. We just got to. We got to write our reason why down. We have to count down. So we are counting down how much volume you need. We are counting down how many loyal customers you need. We are doing personal development like it is our job because it is our job, guys. 90% of this business is personal development. It is waking up. It is growing up. It is 
learning how to become the best version of yourself. It is learning how to mature and be an adult and make things happen for you. Um, what I like to do is I love to play some hyped up music. So I was literally just listening to like, um, I've been listening to what's it called? Um, disclosure. It's like a, it's a, like a station on Pandora. I like to listen to that. I like to listen to Astrid on Pandora. They, those are like amazing, amazing things. You can literally type into Pandora, like hype up music. It's a free app for you to download, to be able to do it. I think Spotify is another one that you can use for that. I'm not really sure. So don't quote me on it. I move my body. I'm not even kidding you guys. Sometimes I will stand here at my kitchen counter. I've got my books in front of me, my books, how convenient, right here, right? And I literally today, I was doing my, my potential distributor follow-ups and I was like jamming out and I was like doing my stuff. I was moving my body so that I felt like I was doing something, so that I was getting my heart rate up, so I was getting myself excited. That's how I do it. I don't always sit down when I work. Sometimes I pace back and forth, back and forth. It drives Matt crazy, but I do it anyways because those paychecks that are gonna be rolling in in the next few months are going to be way prettier than hearing him bitch and complain. So super, super, super important to remember these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here. Um, I think that's pretty much the gist of what I was saying, but guys, we got to get our crap together and we got to start now. We got to do this at month end and we got to keep going into the next month and the next month and the next month and the next month doing these things, getting ourselves excited for what's to come. I love you guys and I hope that you have an amazing day.